Welcome back to the Armour Van Sykes Chronicles in WWE 2K20. This is episode number 7 and we're kicking NXT off with none other than Amber Van Sykes. Making her way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Amber Van Sykes. And after an explosive debut night just seven nights ago on NXT when she would defeat Isla Dawn, Amber Van Sykes is here and I think we know why she's here. And the reason I say that is because I think she's here to address the elephant in the room, the highest who came out at the end of her NXT debut last week to stare her down. And so it'll be interesting to hear from ABC right here, right now on NXT. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to come out here and get straight to the point. Last week, I debuted here at NXT and everything was going to plan. I had a killer match with Isla Dawn and I won. Not a bad start, right? But then, just when I thought I could enjoy my moment, it was stolen by Vanessa Bond and Aaliyah, also known as The High, who decided to come out here and not actually say anything. Now, nah, instead, they decided to stand at the top of the ramp and stare me down. And for what? Are you guys trying to intimidate me, huh? Run me out of NXT? Well, here's the thing, ladies. I will not and cannot be intimidated, and I will not be run out of NXT because I have arrived and I am here to stay. Oh, wait a second, speaking of the aforementioned, here come the hires. Oh, Amber, who the hell do you think you are? Waltzing into our NXT and thinking you can judge our movements? The hires do whatever the hell the hires want to do. We go where we please and we do as we please. You wish you could be as stunning as the two of us, but you simply cannot. Just like these people wish they could be us. Putting it simply for all you morons, you are not hires, you are lowers. Yeah, while you've been down there in the minor leagues, me and Nessa have been running NXT. Running NXT? The only thing you guys have been running is house shows. And in the space of one night, I outshine both of your careers combined. But if you guys truly do run the NXT, then I'm sure you don't have a problem letting me kick your ass here tonight. <laughs> Who says you deserve a match against such quality? Against the hires? Nah, you know what, Aaliyah? If she wants a fight, it's only right we welcome her to our queendom and teach her some class so she can see the way someone like her is supposed to act. The vision will take care of this one. And now here we go, it's time for our main event here on NXT as Amber Van Sykes gets set to take on the vision, Vanessa Bourne. And let me tell you something, Vanessa Bourne is no one to mess with here in NXT. Her and Aaliyah are slowly making their way up the ranks. And it's been quite the last couple of weeks for both of these women, of course, Vanessa Bourne confronting Amber Van Sykes last week after a debut match against Isla Dawn where Van Sykes was successful, but Van Sykes in her own right, she had to relinquish the Progress Women's Championship just after winning the Mayan Classic, which of course was one of the stipulations, or not necessarily stipulations by Stephanie McMahon, but she had to relinquish the title if she was going to come full time here in NXT, and now she's just getting her career going on this clean slate as the referee rings the bell. Here we go, Bourne versus Van Sykes on NXT. Oh, wait a second, Amber Van Sykes dodges out of the way of that one, and look at that, the German suplex straight in the corner. It is good to be back, it's good to see ABC back on the channel, it's been a little bit since the last episode, and it's been a little bit since I last uploaded as well, to be fair, as Vanessa Bourne with a huge drop kick there. The reason I haven't been around for like the last week or so is because my laptop broke if you don't follow me on Twitter you really should actually but regardless of that fact as I'm about to look at that counter to the suplex there by ABC and I was just gonna deliver a huge back suplex to Vanessa Bourne but yeah essentially like a week ago my laptop broke and I couldn't make any videos until my new PC arrived and then my new PC arrived and here we are so uh, yeah it's good to be back I'm sorry it's been a while wait a second I'm about to from the top row with a huge missile drop kick straight to the chest I'm sorry it's been a while since there was even an ABC episode once my laptop was on the way out I was just like you know what I currently make an ABC episode because it just keeps crashing and blue screening and overheating it's just it's not worth the stress i'll wait a little bit until the next episode but it's all good because we're back now as abc delivers a huge forearm there to vanessa bond and vanessa bond is rocked oh wait a second not rocked enough not rocked enough to not realize to move out of the way i know emma van Sykes literally just made her nxt debut a week ago but she did win the mayo classic she is a former progress women's champion so what a huge upset this would be for vanessa bond to dethrone abc right here it's a lot easier said than done this is going to be a hard fought match right here 
here between these two women. Vanessa Bond, very talented in her own right, and she's going to prove it right here with this, uh, oh my god, a unique maneuver. I thought it was going to be a neck break. The innovator, the vision, the higher Vanessa Bourne delivering offense here. She goes into the first cover, the first pinfall of this matchup, but it's too early to even get a one count here on ABC, ever resilient. Wait a second, nice counter there by ABC. Twist the arm, and now she's going to work down on it, the joint manipulation of ABC. Ever high ring IQ, but wait a second, Vanessa Bourne again. These two women very evenly matched in this one. We are being treated to a great match as there's a backbreaker, neckbreaker combo out of the Miz. Now look at this, wrapping those long legs around the neck, just choking the life, squeezing the head down of ABC. But wait a second, Emma Van Sice rolls out of it just there, very easily enough, and there's a huge drop kick. by the way. By the way, speaking of the Emma Van Sice Chronicles, if you thought the first six episodes were good, you haven't seen anything yet. The things I have planned for this series is gonna be good. And of course, a very notable absence at ringside. Vanessa Bond usually has Aaliyah, the other half of the highest out here on NXT. But our general manager, William Regal, made the decision earlier tonight. That Vanessa Bond will go at it alone. She will not have Aaliyah at ringside in this one. And that is a very smart decision from William Regal. This is just gonna be a one-on-one -on -one match between these two and to see who is truly the best. As Vanessa Bond might just prove it right here. There's a twisting. Oh my God. It's like a final cut from Goldust right there. Vanessa Bond, ever the star. Oh, look at that, working down on the knee there. That was very intelligent. And there's a swinging neck breaker. Vision's got her eyes on you, but does she have her eyes on a W here on NXT? Oh, two and a half. Hey man, people don't give Vanessa Bourne enough credit. She has a Mensa level IQ in that ring and she's getting better and better every time I see her. She's clearly been scouting over this. She clearly knows about the knee injuries that she had all the way back in Impact Wrestling heading into progress as well. I mean, we heard tonight in the confrontation between Vanessa Bourne and Amber Van Sice and Aaliyah was there as well earlier tonight. They referred to Progress Wrestling and Impact Wrestling as the quote-unquote minor leagues, but I mean, hey, they've clearly been watching Dropkick there by ABC. They've clearly been watching Amber Van Sice's career. Oh, that, that, if you've been watching Amber Van Sice's career, that is classic ABC right there. They've clearly been watching and they clearly understand the history of knee injuries that this woman has had. But of course, she no longer has to wear a brace, no longer has to wear the bandages. Amber Van Sice's knee is basically brand new at this point, which is very good for her heading into this new stint in her career in NXT. Of course, this is only her second week, so it'll be interesting now. A clean slate, a new roster to mess with. Can Amber Van Sice gain the, 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 the... Oh my God, I can't speak as a V-trigger by Vanessa Bourne. What I'm trying to say is can Amber Van Sice gain the same type of momentum that she developed in progress in Impact to win a championship? Oh, look at this. It, not if Vanessa Bourne has anything to do about it. There's a kick out. Put on the ropes, a dirty tactic there from the vision. Executed almost to perfection. That is something key to note about Amber Van Sice. She has won titles everywhere she's been so far. Can she do the same with the NXT Women's Division? Now she goes up to the top rope here. Look at this huge drop kick again. She's of course, a former Impact Knockouts champion. You know the history with that. She's a former Progress Women's Champion, of course, most recently. And right now here in NXT, of course, we've got Bianca Belair at the top of the food chain as the NXT Women's Champion. And even though Bianca Belair and Amber Van Sice have yet to meet, we know that Amber Van Sice more than likely has a rise in that championship goal as there's another final cut from Vanessa B. And now the vision into the coverage. It's going to be one of the biggest upsets in NXT. No, not just yet, but Vanessa Bourne is she's edging ever so close to a big victory here. Oh, look at this. This is my NXT. This is our NXT. You are a lower. That is what Vanessa Bourne just said to Amber Van Sice. It seems to have lit a fire under her right now. Amber Van Sice has had to deal with adversity everywhere she's been. Every company, people have always tried to keep her down. She has never allowed the machine to keep her down. Look at this cross face. The same move that won her the title all those months ago. Is this going to be it for Vanessa Bourne though? Is she going to tap here? Oh, wait a second. A very nice counter by Vanessa Bourne. And now look at this. Vanessa Bourne, wait a second. And oh my goodness me, what a move. Vanessa Bourne into the cover. This is going to be the biggest upset in NXT. No, not just yet. And Vanessa Bourne can't freaking believe it. This VB, the vision, is looking for the decisive end here. Oh, wait a second. I'm Van Sice with a counter. Oh, wait a second. Van Sice is setting up here. Vanessa Bourne, you're not going to like the view. Oh, wait a second. A nice counter by Vanessa Bourne. I think she was going for another cross face there. Now, Vanessa Bourne, look at this. We don't see her very often go up to the top rope. But this is what this match means to her. She has to get this dub, but she moves out of the way. Does AB? See. Now Emma Van Sice, oh wait a minute, roll through, onto the arm and a big knee. Oh look at this, the vision is not going to like the view she foresees. Oh, maybe she did see it coming, but she, she is the vision. She is the vision after all, and she saw the precise coming. She gets out of dodge, and now the vision with the swinging neck breaker. Now what the hell is this? Vanessa Bourne was about to go for the pinfall there on ABC, but it looks like she wants to do more damage to ABC here. Oh wait a second, I don't know if that was very wise though. And now look at this, the Van Sicery, just like that, snapping her 
on her neck, slapping her right on the back of her head, and ABC into the cover on Vanessa Bourne, is this going to be it? Oh no, she gets the two and three quarters, Vanessa Bourne showing exactly what she's made of here on NXT, she wants a title too, super kick, I don't know if she'll be getting it though, we are in a new wave of Emma Van Sice's career, this is a new caliber of talent that she's going to have to be dealing with, it's bigger than progress, it's bigger than impact now, and now look at this, Van Sice, the space, embryonic to only one move, and Emma Van Sice says thank you for welcoming me to NXT, and look at this, what the hell is Emma Van Sice doing, oh Emma Van Sice says alright, you want to welcome me to NXT, I'll welcome you to my NXT now, precise again, Emma Van Sice with the precise and the higher, has just come crashing down to the lower ground, ABC with the dub on NXT, a huge win here on NXT for Amber Van Wait a second, the night isn't over yet, I recognize that music. Oh my goodness me, that's Emma, that's Billy Kay, that's Peyton Royce, aka the Triconics, are here in NXT. And I don't know what the hell they're doing here right now, really. They're just staring down Emma Van Sice, and we saw this before with the hires, Vanessa Bourne and Aaliyah, and now Emma and Billy Kay and Peyton Royce are doing it again. A little bit of deja vu for ABC as she just picked up this win over the hire, the vision, and now she's been stared down by even more competition. Even more predatorial sharks showing up in these. NXT waters. But to reiterate a point, I don't think Emma Van Sice gives a damn if it's 3 on 1. She'll take on Emma, she'll take on Billy Kay, she'll take on Peyton Royce. It doesn't matter to ABC. And what? Wait a minute, what the hell? Who the hell is that from behind? From behind the drop kick! Who the hell is that? Oh my god, Emma Van Sice just went through. And what the hell does that mean? Van Sice just went through this brutal match with Vanessa Bourne. And now this masked attacker via the Triconics distraction is about to deliver a hammerlock DDT to ABC. What the hell is going on here in NXT? Who the hell is under the mask? Either way, this was a carefully laid plan by Emma, Billy Kay, and Peyton Royce. I was not the boy, I was the I'm sorry.